Hi guys, it's Emily from Heart My Body Fitness, and I'm excited to be here today to share with you my review of seven vegan protein bars. My goal is to make it a little bit easier for you as you're walking down the aisle of the grocery store to decide what type of bars you're going to be purchasing, if any. Before we hop in, if we go through this video and you like it, please do share it out with your friends on social media, and of course, subscribe to my channel. That truly is the best way to let me know that you want more videos like this one. There are so many bars out there on the market that are protein bars or meal replacement bars or fiber bars or whatever they might be and it's really hard at least in my opinion to know what you're buying and why you're buying it so today I'm going to review seven bars that have been marketed as vegan and that's just the way that I chose to categorize maybe in the future I'll do paleo or something like that but these are seven vegan bars and I'm gonna review them based on their taste their texture and their nutritional facts there's only one bar that I've tasted out of this group so I'm excited to try them and we'll see how it goes I also wanna let you know up front that I tend to value protein bars or other bars that are more on the natural side with less ingredients, so I will point that out as well. Okay, let the games begin. Okay, the first bar is the Zing Peanut Butter Chocolate Chip Vitality Bar. So, not even a protein bar per se, but a vitality bar. This puppy is, let's see here, created by professional nutritionists. It has 220 calories, 10 grams of fat, 24 grams of carbohydrate, uh, 7 grams of dietary fiber, and 9 grams of sugar, and 10 grams of protein. It's got a hairly, hairly. It's got a fairly uh, long list of ingredients, peanuts, there's a protein blend, with peanut flour, rice protein concentrate, organic tapioca syrup, semi-sweet chocolate chips, organic brown rice crisps, oats, peanut extract, vanilla extract, and a few other things. So, okay, uh, let's see. That actually tastes pretty good. It is moist enough that it doesn't feel like sandpaper or flour in your mouth. I can see the actual chocolate chips like right up in there and the peanuts, like a whole peanut or part of a peanut. That's pretty tasty. I do enjoy the texture and I do enjoy the taste. This might need like some flossing just because there are chunks of peanut in here. But if you're okay with that, then you might not mind that. The peanut butter chocolate chip vitality bar tastes pretty good. Now you can decide if uh, based on the nutritional facts, it's something that you're interested in, but from a taste perspective, I give it a thumbs up. Next up is the Garden of Life Sport Organic Plant-Based Performance Protein Bar in Chocolate Fudge. So I know that's not the same flavor as the last one. None of these are necessarily the same exact flavor, but they're the best that I could find at the grocery store. Okay, this one is vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, and soy-free. It is non-GMO and all those good things. This is 280 calories for one bar. It has... It's got nine grams of fat, total carbs is 34 grams, 10 grams of dietary fiber, and eight grams of sugar, and 20 grams of protein. So it's higher on the protein end of the spectrum. Again, a nice list of ingredients. And by nice, I mean, um, I can't say it in one sentence. There's a lot happening on the back of this thing. So the first ingredient that I think is actually really important to note is organic tapioca, which is syrup and soluble fiber. It's a sweetener, so take that for what it is as the first ingredient. Organic pea protein, organic almond butter, organic vegetable glycerin, organic chocolate coating, organic sprouted rice, brown rice protein, organic pea crisps. Oh, there's just a lot of things, but fortunately, they're all organic. Many of them are organic. Most of it's organic. It's all organic. There's a long list. Oh gosh. <laughs> anyway, okay. Bottoms up. Hmm. Mm. Um, okay. Ooh, I don't like that. That one did not taste good enough for me to want to actually ingest. The texture of this doesn't really do a whole lot. It's kind of soft and, and, and chewy, but kind of spongy. I can't really see much in terms of this weird to do. Free floating ingredients, if you will, like a few of the bars will have a, a peanut hanging out in there, but this one is just kind of all smudged together. So for me, the texture is not so great. The taste is just okay. This is probably not something that I would choose to eat on a regular basis, and probably only if I was like really in need of a bar. I'm pretty excited about this next one. It is the Nugo Dark Chocolate Pretzel with Sea Salt. 
bar. So it's gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO. I love chocolate and I love pretzels, so I'm hoping that this one is good. 200 calories for one bar. Total fat is five grams. It has 350 milligrams of sodium, but it says that it has sea salt in it, so. It has 28 grams of carbohydrate, two grams of fiber, 15 grams sugar, so the dietary fiber is a little bit low comparatively. 10 grams of protein. The first ingredient is dark chocolate, then soy crisps, tapioca syrup, agave syrup, brown rice crisp, not quite as many ingredients as some of the other bars, but I don't know what some of this is, which makes me always a little bit nervous. It tastes like a candy bar. That's pretty tasty. The dark chocolate tastes dark chocolatey. It's sweet without being too sweet. I do like the texture of the crisp. It's very, um, pretzel which I think is the point. I, I enjoy this. This definitely seems like a candy bar to me, but it was tasty. The next one is the Think Thin plant-based high protein bar. This one is in chocolate mint, so it's very different from the others. That's all that I could find at the grocery store. It's vegan, no soy ingredients, low GI, certified gluten-free, 230 calories for one bar, eight grams of total fat, 28 grams of carbohydrate total, two grams are dietary fiber, and 18 grams of sugar alcohol, which is known to cause GI stress when consumed in excess amounts so that's something and then 13 grams of protein it's got a nice long ingredients list again protein blend which is pea protein brown rice protein pumpkin protein maltitol vegetable glycerin i'll keep scrolling here dark chocolate coating alkalized cocoa dark chocolate chips pea protein crisps chocolate liqueur sunflower oil almond butter oils let's see cocoa butter stevia leaf extract oh <laughs> nope can't go i can't go down the hatch mm-mm the mint's not bad. The mint, I actually enjoy. What I dislike is the texture, which is very chalky. This tastes like a mint chocolate bar that tried to then become a high protein bar. I don't think that the taste is good enough for me to overlook the ingredients. I wouldn't eat this one again. Okay, next up is the Lara bar. This is the, it's original fruit and nut food bar, so it's not deemed a protein bar. It's a fruit and nut food bar. Chocolate chip cookie dough is the flavor and it has just four ingredients. So I like that about this uh, already. Let's see, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and dairy-free. One bar is 200 calories. This is a little tiny guy, but 200 calories. Total fat is 11 grams. Total carb is 25 grams, with three of those being dietary fiber, 16 grams of sugar, including three grams added sugar, and four grams of protein. So this is definitely not like a high protein bar, which I'm assuming is why they are not calling it a protein bar. As for ingredients, uh, we've got cashews as the first ingredient, dates, semi-sweet chocolate chips, and sea salt. So that was easy enough. I know what those things are. I have had Lara bars before, but I haven't had this flavor. Hmm, what flavor is this? Chocolate chip cookie dough. There's a lot of cashew happening here. The texture, I actually don't mind. It is a very moist bar, which doesn't bother me. It's very chewy. This particular flavor, definitely, like, you can sense the cashews. So if you like cashews, maybe you like this. If you don't, then you might not. To me, it's just, it's just okay. I wouldn't reach for it again because of the cashews, but you might like it. I don't know. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna ruin my dinner. The next bar is another Lara bar, and it is the peanut butter cookie, the original fruit and nut food bar. Again, just three ingredients in this one, and it is non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free, and soy-free. Now, why did I choose two Lara bars, you ask? Well, the other bar did not say soy-free, so even if they're the same company, they might have slightly different ingredients, so that's just something to keep in mind. This one has 220 calories for one bar. Total fat is 12 grams. Total carb is 23 grams, and four four grams dietary fiber, total sugars is 17 grams, protein is six grams, so it does have higher protein than the um, chocolate chip cookie dough one, and it is made out of dates, peanuts, and sea salt, and that's it. Here we go. Okay. If 
you like peanut butter, you'll probably like this. It is very moist. There are little tiny bits of peanut that are definitely rolling around in here. This one's okay. This one's okay. It's not quite as tasty as a couple of the other ones, like that pretzel one. But that being said, it has way fewer ingredients. So, you know, you have to pick and choose what you want and you don't have to eat any of these if you don't want to. I just want you to know what they're about. The seventh bar for today is the High Protein Go Macro Macro Bar. It's protein pleasure, peanut butter chocolate chip. What does protein pleasure mean? It's USDA organic. It is vegan, gluten-free, and non-GMO. Certified organic, certified vegan, certified gluten-free, certified clean, certified raw. One bar is 290 calories. It's got 11 grams of fat, 37 total carbs, 2 grams of fiber, 14 grams of sugar, 11 grams of protein. Again, it's got a fair amount of ingredients, um, not quite as many as some of the others. Organic brown rice syrup is the first ingredient. Organic peanut butter, organic protein blend, which is organic sprouted rice protein, organic pea protein. It's got organic puffed brown rice, fair trade chocolate chips that are organic, and organic peanuts. So I'm a little bit more comfortable with the ingredients here than I was with a lot of the other bars, just because it looks like, yeah, well, there's sweetener and such it's not like it's nothing that you can't easily find online and figure out you can see actual chocolate chip Let's see if you need the chocolate side it's just okay I don't love the taste it definitely tastes like peanut butter I don't know that I'd make this one a priority to purchase just because I don't love the taste, but that's my own personal preference. It's moist, but it is a little bit chalky and definitely some peanuts are getting in between my teeth. So carry floss with you. This one's just okay in terms of taste and texture. There you have it guys. Those are my thoughts on seven vegan protein bars. I hope that this was helpful. I would love for you to again, share this video out. Leave me a comment, letting me know what you think. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm putting out new videos every Monday. And if you subscribe, then you will never miss a Monday. My dinner is officially ruined and I really need to go brush my teeth. So I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.